Retired old cabinets can really outdate a kitchen, but new cabinets will bring your kitchen back to life. They're also great in the garage, laundry room, and closets. We'll show you how to install them yourself in this cabinet installation series. This video shows you how to measure and prep, which is important. Before swinging a hammer, you need to plan with some simple measurements. Measure all the walls, doors, and windows. Be sure to measure to the outside of the molding. Locate the position of windows and doors on the wall. Also, measure from the floor to the windows, bottom to top of windows, and top of the windows to the ceiling. And make note of where plumbing, gas, and electrical are located. Now you have a basic blueprint and can put together a plan for your new cabinets. Check out our buying guide on our website. Now you can begin demo. Start by turning off electrical, gas, and water to the kitchen. Then remove your appliances and sink. If you're uncomfortable doing any of this, check out lowes.com slash installation for help. It's best to start by removing doors and drawers. To reuse the old sink, carefully cut the sealant, disconnect the plumbing, loosen the bracket screws, and lift it out. Next, the base cabinets and countertop. To take off the counter, detach it from the walls and cabinets. Pull it a bit and it should pop loose. Unscrew the backs from the wall and pull everything out. Definitely no turning back now. Take down the wall cabinets the same way. Grab some help for this part. Time to fix up this mess. Repair your walls as needed and add a couple coats of paint. You can expect some touch up later. Now is a great time to make any repairs to your floor. If you're installing new floors, do it now so they run under the cabinets, unless it's a floating floor like ours. In that case, install the cabinets first and later run the floors just up to the cabinet fronts. We'll come back to this in a second. Before the cabinets go in, you'll need to mark guidelines. First, mark the depth of your cabinet bases on the floor. For height, use a level to find the highest spot on the floor. Mark the cabinet height at this spot. Here's where your type of flooring comes into play. If you're installing a floating floor that goes in after the cabinets, you'll need to raise them just above the flooring so your appliances will fit under the countertops. You can use a piece of flooring and underlayment as a guide to mark the height, setting them on the high spot, then marking the cabinet height on the wall and extend the line along the work area. For the upper cabinets, mark a level line at 54 inches. After that, mark all the studs inside the lines. It's also helpful to mark the layout of your cabinets on the walls. Mark the appliances too. This only takes a few minutes. Want more great ideas and how-tos? Go to lowes.com slash how-to or click subscribe. Next step, installing the upper cabinets.